Hi folks, here I am on Backgammon Galaxy's new app. Um, I'm currently accessing this through the website play.backgammongalaxy.com. Um, I've been using it for a couple of weeks. I'm just going to play a match and add some comments. So you have the option of playing a coin game, a rating game, or you can play a friend, you get a code and then they enter the code when they log in. You can play here um, also without a cube um, if you're newer to the game. So rating game here, you choose um, which options, the more you select, the faster you get matched up. Um, I'm just gonna play a five point um, with normal or casual time, just um, to give me some uh, breathing space <laughs> to add comments. Um, so let's see how we get on. Um, normally um, it takes around 20 seconds or less to get matched up. It can often be quite quick at times I've I've been on here and I've just got matched up instantly. Um, obviously, as the site gains in popularity, um, you'll get matched up faster. And at certain times of the day as well, and there's just more people on the site. So hopefully um, we won't wait too long um, to get matched up. So let's keep waiting um, to see what happens and so here we are. Um, so good game. So here you can have um, different emojis um, there. I'll show you those in a moment. Um, so 6-3, I'll win the opening roll. Um, normal time, five point match. Yeah, different emojis um, as you can press as you go along. And they are going to be uh, expanding those um, as they go along. So here to one, um, I am behind. I do like making a slotting play here um, because I'm already behind by around 15 pips. Let's do that. Um, fives and sixes to cover, threes and ones um, to cover here. Good diversification of numbers. Um, they've taken off the chat feature, um, which you can do on the web version. Um, I think that's because uh, Mark was just being being inundated with people like, you know, being antagonistic online. Um, okay, so three, one, keep attacking, attack a blot, don't let it escape. Um, here, having them split like this is good, gives myself good numbers to make the advanced anchor. Um, okay, so here, three, and six, very good. And his trap there, nice that he can't escape with any six. And also he's got a blot in board. So even though I've got a number of checkers back, um, definitely thinking about the cube um, before every roll. Um, fours to hit, ones to hit, um, 20 rolls, and then some indirect such as um, double two. Um, not quite enough, yeah. Um, so I could run to the mid, but I'm behind why would I want to make a running play. Um, staying back, putting pressure on the ace there looks correct. So let's just play to the eight point. Okay. Using the clock time as, as best as I can without running out, but also trying to think through a decision so I don't miss anything obvious. Um, so that's one. Let's make the rack, 654 point, definitely um, puts pressure on this blot if it's hit. And then I could step up here, but again, 30 pips down, um, so stay back. I might be wrong. Um, so double five. Okay, so this blot here is causing some mischief um, in his uh, position. As you can see, um, so so six four. Um, I could make uh, no. I can't make a point. Um, but what I can do is I can step out for contact. Also duplicates fours to cover here, and then just play the four in. Um, and he's going to double here. And even though I'm 30, 37 pips down. <laughs> um, I've got ways to turn this around and I've got a stronger home board. So I'm taking uh, this. 
if that blot was covered, um, then it would very well be a, be a pass. Um, in holding games with the bar points made, um, you've got to be careful about taking because if your opponent has a landing zone, and here you can see the 6 3. Now he's left me a shot there and some indirects to hit as well. And of course, I don't um, get anything. So let's just send him a lovely uh, annoyed face. Hopefully, he'll take it in good spirits. Um, so, this is a new app. Uh, Mark Olsen and his team, Wilson, Hussein, and, and all the rest of the Galaxy team are improving it week by week. There's going to soon be a paid star membership, um, which you'll be able to analyze matches on a higher setting. Um, and there'll be a Blunder database and various other uh, features, um, such as live movement of checkers. So you can see the thinking process of your opponent. Um, okay, so double three, what now exactly? Um, let's make the five point board. And step up I think here we can break the mid of course but we kind of like it as a bridge between our front and back position so I think I'm just going to do this sometimes it's good staying back as a goalkeeper um, because otherwise he can play numbers over um, our head quite easily and now I'm glad to have the anchor um, means it definitely lowers lowers the gammons um, but now with this move i can't break the board so i have to play four down gives him ones which are duplicated um, to hit this dilly builder can only go forward with a one um, so let's play five and one so here I really don't want to get gammoned. Um, five point match, losing a gammon, of course, goes to goes to Crawford. Um, so I need to be careful. Three, okay. Would have liked to have hit, had some opportunities there. Um, but the gammon is, is pretty much off. So here I can make the point, but I just want to run, um, not get stuck back. 3-2, okay, so now let's just play that into five points. Here we can see the amount of builders, three, we can square that to see that we roughly have nine ways to make that point. Our Benjamin is, is, is good on, on the mathematics. Um, so now let's just make the point rather than running and he's got some attacking numbers there. So now I run. Here we've got some awkward numbers, um, such as six three, um, double six, double five. Hmm. Worth stopping and uh, considering um, the roles, such as six five here. Plays badly. I'd like, uh, obviously, for him to leave a shot. And then, okay, let's just wait back again. No point running when 40 pips behind. So again, I'm still going to wait because now with this odd number of checkers on his four point, a lot of shot levers with two big numbers like so. And then any one, please. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. Uh, the trouble is now I've broken the, the board and he can enter. Um, he's currently got six checkers off so that's usually the right time to double around five or six checkers off um here i'm gonna stay back and slide up so i really need to hit this again otherwise i've lost and unfortunately oh no it does here gosh um so yeah i definitely need to take some checkers off here before i I put in the redouble. Okay, so we're not there yet. And he's entered. So now I need him to roll low, which he hasn't. Um, okay, so that's a miss. 
so 12 checkers so yes nowhere near a cube so definitely helps there three six nine okay no another double well there we are careful what you wish for um and he's won two points okay so there we are okay game on i definitely had some opportunities there but you could see um by having a six point open um he just entered again so here splitting we don't want blots on both side of the sides of a board particularly when the back check is a split we're giving him just too many numbers to attack us um okay let's unstack the heavy point double three we could have played two down from the mid also okay so six three so now i think i'm just going to run because all the alternatives just don't look as good and i'm leaving the shots either way i am down though in the race but after this roll it's pretty even there's no better options really i could play this but then i'm just leaving a bunch of shots anyway so let's play to the midpoint six three when i'm behind in a match score i want a, a more volatile position and when you're ahead in a match score you want a lower volatility so so now here being behind it looks right to hit but there's no good three here really um unless i kept playing to the ace which is also not particularly good so here i'm just going to send another one to the um six point on stacking again trying to utilize all your checkers efficiently all your 15 men or, or women trying to move them around the board um so there we are so having the extra checker there is good hitting him with a two also gives me a spare to cover so you can see the benefits okay so double three one two make the five points and give, give myself another covering number so i'm still behind in the race now he doubles i don't have an anchor which would be an easy take probably not even a double um i'm gonna take i'm not really sure on the double there i i actually don't like it it's probably a no double in fact um okay so now i enter on a two point with a one point let's slide across give myself good diversification of numbers here twos to step up ones threes fours to cover fives and sixes play down here okay so six five definitely not running two down no I'm one pip off as a six prime and also he's got some awkwardness here this is why I think he was a bit early on the double um, but of course if I keep dancing <laughs> then he doesn't really make much difference um, still he's got a gap I can enter with a four there we are one that was probably my best roll double fours obviously would have been quite good double three is handy for him as well um actually no not actually that that good okay he's he's done that still he's left some inflexibility here with sixes um i just need to enter quickly um okay double three and now i am in trouble here um so there is some gammon risk here as well of course i've still got some freight to, to move around the board i'm struggling to enter i only have 11 entering numbers here on a on a one point board so double four so here i can wait for the six two um and just play one in i'm only losing effectively one one extra pip okay double five gosh should i just give him the uh angry face because he keeps on rolling doubles <laughs> okay so i really need to get off uh 
The Gavins are looking unlikely here, but still, um, being 4-0 um, down in a five-point match at Crawford is, is not very good. So, anyway, more more things to say, more, um, more commentary. Um, so, let's keep going and see if anything interesting comes up. I'll try to plan my best. Uh, I'm trying to get my rating higher. So now, I mean, it, it's shooting up already. The top players are in like 2,200. It's not quite on par of a web version yet, but but bear in mind that's been around much longer. Okay, so 6 1, make the bar point. So here it's effectively DMP. Um, I can play super aggressively because gammons don't count. Okay, so nice. I hit, step up. So this is good, this is what I want. So he's stuck back. Okay, him making the point is, I must make the bar point there. Sometimes people miss making the point for combination of numbers. So again, just taking your time. This is quite good uh, when he has more checkers here. Um, you're kind of holding uh, the point effectively. So here, um, you know, I I would be would be doubling, uh, but but I can't. Double one is is yuck. I don't want to break my structure, so I I'm just gonna have to play to the the ace point with that. This basically puts the two checkers out of play. So four three. So now. He's got a gap in board. Um, let's make the free point on his head. Gives him a few ways of entering. Double three. Okay, so one, two. So now I could make the full point. Um, but here, I'm just being ahead in the race. I just want to break contact and, and, and get around. Like I said, gammons don't matter. Um, so now five one. Um, okay, so I would love to play that down, um, but I just think it's too too risky leaving the indirects. But he has got a gap in board, so he would need to roll a one three. If he rolls an indirect, you won't be able to cover. Okay, let's make this play. I don't like breaking my front structure. Okay, so here we are. You see, he hits with a one, but he can't cover now. Um, and four is, is not actually very good because he would have liked to have played this um, loan checker out rather than breaking the anchor or or whatever he chooses to do before playing another one down. It's probably right. Okay, so I dance, unfortunately, um, plays a three, jumps over six. So then now I'm in a bit of bother here. He still has some work to do. Um, and I've still got his point made. Well, here we go, another double five. <laughs> what can you do? Um, what can you do? So now I've got to stay back. What is the point of running? I can't see any benefit in that. Let's make the board a bit stronger. Okay, now of course he jumps on my head. Let's give him the face. Okay, so here we are. So it looks like it's all over. It's got some awkwardness here. Okay, so I might get a shot on the bear off. If not, then then I win. Okay, so there's a two. Okay, so I'm hoping. So he plays out well, breaking the six point. Um, definitely want to clear the points. Here, he does not need the gammon. He just wants to play safely. Um, Okay, let's just make the five point board. 
It's looking unlikely here. He's got a zero position, not gonna leave any shots. Um, just gotta wait, hold back. Give myself a good six here to make this point. Um, and let's just do that to give myself another covering number. Okay, double two. So there we are. Game over, I think. I'm just gonna enter high. There we are, six, 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 um, six. Okay, good game. No wastage playing into a six point, but uh, too little, too late, um, too far behind, even with more double sixes, it still looks incredibly unlikely uh, to win. So there we are, that's the end of the match. Um, okay, so I played a 3.79. Um, now, because he played a higher PR, he only gets half the rating points. If we had played this match online, he wouldn't have got any rating points because um, you need to win and have a PR win. Um, so pretty happy with my performance there despite losing. Um, let's have a look at the analysis. Um, now, as Dirk Schiemann and Thomas Tenland, pretty much every GM says, always look at what you got right as well as what you got wrong because, you know, you can reconfirm <laughs> the good things uh, you're doing in backgammon. It's a complicated game. We can berate ourselves um, for getting things wrong, but of course... Um, congratulate yourself for getting things right. Um, so let's have a look. So this is two play analysis. I can download, run it on XG to see if I would uh, change um, the PR by much. Um, so I, I started with a 6-3, made a split in play. 2-1, okay, so here the slot is right. Like I said, good diversification of numbers. Um, okay, so Ah, I played this one too quickly. Silly. Um, yeah, I should have just made the four points on his head. Um, like so. Um, I made the five point and then hit loose, which is in fact a, a blunder. Um, yeah, the four point is still a very strong point. The second strongest um, home board point after the five point. Um, you can play around with XG to see um, from the opening position your your increasing game winning chances after certain points are made a five point is around 10 percent and a nine four point is it's slightly less around nine percent i think um okay so oversight there should have um seen that um three one hitting um okay good um staying back making the two points that was a nice roll 3-2 here, okay, it's a tiny error, 13-8. Would have been slightly better. 18-16, 13-10. Duplication of ones and fours. That's a lovely play, actually. Hard to find, uh, but look how beautiful that is. Backgammon is beautiful. Uh, ones, ones, fours, fours. Splendid. Um, okay, double three. Good. Don't step up. Make the board um correct um six four i okay, played that well fighting for the contact and duplicating fours as well um double so he was correct to double here um and he was correct to take as well um so good decision 16 7 played that well um okay so I made the uh, three points when I should have stepped up here. It's only a small error, but here I, I give myself a good six to escape, um, which is important because I'm stripped on the midpoint here and um, I don't want to be breaking my, my anchor in this position. Um, so, yeah. So tempting to make uh, the point here, of course, um, but we have to look past and the the obvious play um 
I actually made a video on the second best move. Um, check that out on my channel where I talk about uh, this. Um, double three. Okay, so what did I do? So I should have played 24 to 21 and brought two down. Okay, like so. Yeah, so doubles can be more difficult to play. It wasn't a huge error. Um, but I suppose after my move, I'm... I'm a little bit squished. I played them forward. I have stripped points. I'm going to leave um, some awkwardness. Um, when I've got these points and a stripped, I don't really have any flexibility in my position. So I kind of like having the spares um, from the best play. So I can play them forward and my numbers work a lot better. Um, okay, so no move. <laughs> That's an easy one. For one. Of course, you don't break your board here. 5-1. Making the blocking point six away from the open point, also good. 3-2. Okay. Sure. Okay. 4-3. 12-9-6-2. So these ones, which are very close, definitely worth running on a higher setting. And I know that's going to come available on the update to start membership where you will have four ply and um, it will be more accurate, the rollouts and so on. Um, okay, so good. Definitely making uh, the two points here is better. Here I can click on checker, see. Okay, so leaving the anchor 2280 was uh, an error, half a blunder, um, but not terrible by any means. Um, so definitely when you start out, the small errors, leave that to a later day. Concentrate on the red, the blunders, and try to get those under your belt to begin with, rather than, you know, taking on the whole world in one day. Um, so now I run, not breaking my board, and so on and so forth. So really not much else going on there. Um, game two. Okay, so here this is important. Play... Some people get this wrong by splitting minor split and bringing one down and just leaving so many numbers. Sure, um, with the wrong play here, um, it's only a small error and you are duplicating six fours, um, but usually having blots on both sides of the board at once is not a good idea. Um, okay, double three. Okay, so again, I should have brought two down there from... Um, the mid um, because the back checkers are split um, if they weren't split making a three point uh, is better i'm pretty sure um okay i liked running um, but it was wrong <laughs> too much to give away the anchor and i'm down in the race yeah so i should have played 13 10 8 to 2 like so and you know the opponent can't pick up both checkers anyway because if he hits with a two, then he can't, you know, get this one, get this one as well. Um, and hitting there with a two point is is effective because if he comes in, I've got a blocking point six six away. Um, so leaving the anchor um, as I did. Um, it's just too much. Double fives, double threes, five three, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, not great. Um, okay, again, I should have hit um, slightly down in the race, um, behind in the score. Um, 13 six is, is just a bit too stiff in the position. So 13 10, A4. Give myself good covering numbers afterwards with twos and sixes. So six away is the best covering number, 17 rolls. Um, and of course, I can pick up the second checker as well. Um, also some duplication of threes, him hitting this blot there. Um, so yeah, definite things to work on. Also, I haven't got backgammon figured out yet. <laughs> I don't think anyone has. Um, but my overall PR, I am happy with. Um, so double three, again, pretty small. So make the five point and then bring two down. 
okay on stacking the heavy point right always good to run stack use your check as efficiently over the board then he doubled which yes as as i mentioned a no double um at the score right um gammons are not efficient for him um so easy take so i'm not going to look at his moves um but i could do i you know there's enough to think about uh in your own uh, play um but it does give you the opportunity to go through and look at all the moves and you should spend as much time analyzing as you do playing if you really want to improve um okay nice two down no move okay this was a great roll um and then as you can see just got a bit unlucky couldn't enter double four there we are waiting back for an awkward roll six four and then the rest is history um so in total i made five errors and two blunders losing this much equity 3.79 so it could have been lower um definitely with 2-1 um making a four point i shouldn't have missed um, but some of the other things i can look over and really focus on those uh areas um again same for reza not played him before but he's got some areas he he needs to work on he could watch my videos on my channel um i post up every wednesday um i uh, have interviews with grandmasters I have over 50 videos now, beginner, intermediate, some advanced stuff. Um, so please check it out if you haven't done so already. Um, so there we are, use the app. It's getting better every day. 